Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and I just want to remind everyone of something while actually we talk about a change that Microsoft has done. Um, the Microsoft Update Catalog page. Why? Because sometimes updates don't work well in Windows updates and when they don't, most of the time actually, when you install them manually, it will often work. So if you have a stuck update, if you have something you can't update, it just gets there and, you know, tries to do it, gives you an error message or restarts and tries it all the time over and over again. Well, maybe installing it manually will help. So, of course, the page is the one that I will be sharing in the bottom of uh, in the, um, the uh, comment section in the uh, description, sorry. Uh, which is catalog.update.microsoft.com. This is the page. Now, I wanted to talk about it today also because not only has it been a long time since I talked about how to get updates here, but they made a change. It is now a HTTPS or secure page. And one of the comments I got on the channel today is, how come Microsoft took so long to do so? Well, because the Microsoft Update Catalog lets you get updates for old operating systems and sometimes on an older computer you might not have a browser that is enough um, you know up to date to connect to the secure connections so that's why Microsoft resisted for such a long time because of backwards compatibility with old uh, software and hardware now finally they made the change and now the Microsoft update catalog is a secure page for download and they had no choice because more and more browsers now block any form of downloads that doesn't come from a uh, secure page. So how does it work? So if you have an update that is stuck or if you have an update that you just can't install, there is always a number. That update contains a catalog number. So, for example, say the last update. I'm going to go into the settings here. I'm going to go and look at Windows Update and in Update History. In my Update History, 28th of March, there's a cumulative update that was installed. Now, say that is an update for Windows 11 in my case, but you know, works for Windows 10, Windows 8. Uh, you even have Windows 7 um, downloads available. If you couldn't install it, what you do is you note the KB number, KB5011563, for example, in this case. See, that is the one that doesn't install. Whatever it is in your case, take note of the number, that number. Now, I will go and actually take KB5011563 and put it in here. So KB5011563, and you search for it you will have the update available. Now, just make sure you choose the correct version. Here, there's an ARM version and there's a X64, which is standard PC versions. And you click the download. It gives you a size. Remember, these downloads are big because often, since they don't know if you have older cumulative updates included in there, they will often have several other updates at the same time to make sure you don't miss out on anything. And once it's downloaded, you just click on it and install it. And usually, um, I would say that if you have a Windows Update that fails in Windows Update itself, uh, you've got probably an 80% chance or more that it will actually install fine using the downloaded update instead. It could be Windows Update itself that has a problem with it. But once you have the package and install it manually, it might actually work fine. So remember the Microsoft Update Catalog. It is very, very useful. And depending on the updates that you download, well, you will have different versions. Make sure, like I said, you choose the correct version, a 32-bit version, for example. If you're on Windows 10, you might have 32-bit system, 64-bit system. You choose a correct one. You have to know which one to choose. Now, if you choose the wrong one, the good news is that, you know what, it won't install. You cannot break your Windows with one of these updates. So for example, if you didn't know which one, you downloaded ARM64, but you're on a standard Intel PC, it would tell you, no, this this can't doesn't work. Doesn't work here. That's not correct. Um, and so on. And so if you have the wrong version, 
it's just going to tell you, no, you can't install this one. This is not for your system. So chances of breaking Windows is pretty much a non-existent thanks to that. So you don't have to be scared to go manually download an update in the Microsoft Update Catalog. So I'll post the link to this in the description. You can click on it. Keep it in your, uh, you know, uh, in a, as a reference in your uh, bookmarks and so on, because uh, it could be useful from time to time to have um, the availability of downloading an update. It also is cool if you have an offline machine, one that is not on the internet, but you want to update it, you can go and download the uh, updates manually, put them on a USB thumb drive, and install them on a machine that would not be on the internet, and it would be updated manually instead of being updated through the internet. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.